Those arresting pictures of an ice wave in Minnesota rising up with such force, it's destroying everything in its path. And Sam, this is about some really, these temperature changes, right? Yeah, because on one side of the country, the west, we've got 80s, 90s, and 100s today. On part of the country, we've got these cold wind chills, 20s, 30s, and 40s. And because this cold air has been sitting right here around the Great Lakes, temperatures like this, that feel like this, the ice hasn't had a chance to melt. So that ice, now picked up by winds in this pattern, is blowing on shore, and that's a problem for the folks on shore. Our Ginger Z is in Lake Malaya. Minnesota to show you what a problem that is. Good morning, Ginger. Sam, this is wild. Look behind me. What looks like heaps of snow is not. It's actually ice, shards of ice. This is what happened when the ice started attacking. Come with me into this boathouse. It punctured right through the walls and into this and a dozen other structures. Nikki, it's really pushing in. It is a colossal blob of ice coming right toward Darla Johnson's cottage. All she could do was hit record. Michael, get away from it. In less than 10 minutes, the ice oh that God, sounded like that? breaking glass <laughs> broke glass in these homes, smashing right through the walls. It, it just busted through a door over here. The ice was pushed ashore by strong winds. Now look at the terrifying wave from above. At times, it climbed to three feet deep. It's going right through their house. It's called an ice heave, and it happened in Manitoba, Canada this weekend, too, where an incredible tsunami-like wave of ice destroyed a dozen two-story homes. Bang, the ice came right through the living room here. He said, grab your purse, grab whatever you can, get the keys. We got to get out of here. So you can see right back there, that is the lake, and all of that thin ice was pushed right up with those strong winds onto the shore. Now their ice out, or when it melts, was about two to three weeks late, and that had a lot to do with why this happened.